Immune regulation essentially refers to the concept by which the immune system, which is essential, is protecting against external pathogens or toxins, but also not overreactive to self. And that can be excess inflammation or even autoimmunity to the self. And it's a very delicate balance that you want to keep. In the extremes, you would see someone that is you know, having a autoimmune condition and or someone who cannot seem to fight an infection to save their life. The markers that I think about include neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils. And these are all types of white blood cells. Lymphocytes are specialized types of white blood cells that are involved in adaptive immunity, which is kind of a second wave of the immune response, and tend to kind of focus primarily on viruses. So a lot of these markers give clinicians clues into, is there a certain type of pathogen that you might be dealing with? It's less about out of range, it's more like, if someone is like super fatigued and their lymphocyte level is elevated, and I can't really find an obvious reason otherwise in the blood testing, I'm gonna start being curious about like doing deeper dives on viral markers because that lymphocyte level is telling me there might be a virus here. We use these subtypes of white blood cells to look at shifts is how we think about it in the overall profile of these specialized white blood cells. So if I see the lymphocytes are unusually activated, I might be thinking, huh, this person is dealing with a virus and it will help determine my next steps when thinking about how to work up the problem. Monocytes are specialized cells that actually have a very specific cytokine or inflammatory release, and they also are involved in the allergy response. So a monocyte reading may tell me that there are allergies present and or high monocytes tell me that the inflammation system is really dialed up. Mostly it's information as a clinician to be able to know what do I need to look for to deal with that root cause. It's less that I would treat a monocyte, but it's more that it would give me a clue into what to look for that might be afflicting my patient. The relationship between monocytes and other inflammatory markers is not always kind of congruent. So you may have an HSCRP that looks totally normal and yet a monocyte level that is elevated telling us there is some inflammation present and more so it gives us a way to start digging deeper into why is that happening. None of the markers as related to white blood cells really tell you if you have an autoimmune condition or not. Typically that is screened through an ANA or an anti-nuclear antibody, which gives us the first kind of like top line clue that there might be an autoimmune disease present. And then there's a whole host of very specific antibodies depending on the tissue that is being attacked to be able to assess if you have an autoimmune disease. Neutrophils are essentially the first line of defense in your immune system, so they're going to be activated first, and they often are dealing with bacterial infections. So if you see a shift in your white blood cells with elevated neutrophils, again, this is a way for a clinician to kind of have a clue that you may be dealing with a bacterial infection. Monocytes are a specialized white blood cell that actually do something called phagocytosis, which is a very fancy way of saying they eat bad stuff in your body. So again, this is a sign that there is some kind of process in your body that that specialized immune cell needs to be active to clear up those like dead debris or cells that need to be removed. So if your monocyte reading is out of range, you may look for more specific ways to assess the specific pathogens that could be you know, doing cultures, that could be doing additional testing to actually identify the presence of certain pathogens. Basophils are a specialized white blood cell that are involved in allergy, and they also send out a specific inflammatory signal through interleukin-4. A basophil might either tell us that you're struggling with allergies or that you've got your immune system kind of dialed up. If your basophils are elevated, you might want to start wondering about what kind of allergens could be present. That could be food sensitivities that are troubling you and or environmental allergens. If it's more that it's a sign of inflammation generally, this comes back to being curious about what's the underlying reason for that inflammation, which probably is some type of pathogen. 
Eosinophils are another specialized form of white blood cells that are specifically involved in allergy, but also can be seen as elevated in parasite infections. So most likely I would think about, you know, assessing if someone has allergies that can be supported or treated, but I would also follow it up with a stool examination to see if they do have parasites.